Your first week after surgery, scrotal swelling and bruising may occur. You may notice swelling or discoloration immediately or up to five days after surgery, which will resolve over time. Most patients find that two extra strength Tylenol every six hours will control surgery related discomfort like abdominal pain, scrotal pain, or pain in the area between the anus and the scrotum. This may last for several weeks, but should resolve. Intermittent ice packs and supportive underwear will also help relieve scrotal pain. Along with your pain, it is very important to monitor your temperature and call Dr. Patel's office for anything higher than 100.5 degrees. Please also inform us if your pain is not controlled by the medication. Most patients will have six small incisions around the surgery site, with specialized glue applied to each incision during surgery. Do not pick at or remove the glue, as it will wear off naturally within two to three weeks. You may experience a small amount of draining from the incision, which is normal. There is no need to apply any antibiotic ointment to the incision sites. However, you may apply a dry dressing if necessary. You may experience some discomfort at the tip of the penis where the Foley catheter is inserted. If so, place a small amount of water-based lubricant or triple antibiotic ointment on the tip of the penis and the catheter tubing several times daily. You may experience a small amount of urine leakage around the catheter, which is common. If so, you can place absorbent pads such as Depends or Attends in your underwear to absorb leakage. You may also see some blood in the urine and Foley bag, which is common, but you should drink more fluids to help flush out any clots. The Foley catheter commonly causes bladder spasms, which can result in mild or severe bladder pain, cramping, urinary urgency, and or burning sensation. Call Dr. Patel's office if pain or spasms do not subside or become severe. It usually takes four to six days for the urethra and bladder to heal, at which point the catheter can be removed. While the catheter is in, you should drink at least six 16-ounce bottles of water throughout the day. Do not drive until the Foley catheter is removed. It is common for a bowel movement to take a couple of days after surgery and may take a few weeks for the bowels to return to their regular routine. You will be prescribed a stool softener while in the hospital and given a prescription before you leave the hospital which you should fill and begin taking right away. Decrease the dosage to once daily if the stools become too loose. We recommend not utilizing any enemas, suppositories, or laxatives. Avoid straining when you do have a bowel movement. If you do not have a bowel movement and or experience nausea or vomiting, call our office. It is common to have bloody drainage around the catheter or in your urine after activity or a bowel movement. This drainage will lessen after your rest for a short period of time. About four hours after surgery, you will be walking with the assistance of your nurse. Once home, we encourage you to walk at least one mile per day, intermittently, not all at once, and stretch regularly. Build up slowly to your pre-surgery activity level, and do not sit in one position for more than 45 minutes. Do not lift, push, or pull anything more than 5 pounds for the first week after surgery and 15 pounds for 4 weeks after surgery. Do not attempt sexual activity until after 4 weeks, inclusive of the use of the vacuum erection device. After 6 weeks, there are no more activity restrictions. Once at home, you can eat light, solid foods such as oatmeal, ensure yogurt, eggs, soup, mashed potatoes, fruit, vegetables, fish, and chicken. It is important to eat small portions. We strongly recommend against heavy or greasy meals, including red meat, fried or spicy food that will further slow down your bowels and cause bloating. If you experience gas pain, walking and the incentive spirometer are the best ways to help pass gas through your system. Once your bowel function returns to normal, you may resume your regular diet. Regarding daily medications, refer to your individual discharge instructions. You may be given multiple medications and dosage instructions to take home. If you have any questions about your prescriptions, be sure to ask your nurse before discharge or call the office. Most patients return to the clinic four to six days after surgery, at which point we'll remove your Foley catheter, discuss your care plan and pathology report, and offer instructions regarding incontinence and erectile dysfunction. 
After the first month, you may begin to attempt sexual intercourse. Start increasing your normal activities and amount you lift. If you notice blood in your urine, you need to reduce activity until it clears. You may also take baths and go into hot tubs or the ocean starting at six weeks postoperatively. Looking long term, your first PSA will be six weeks after surgery and then every three months for the first year. After one year, these checkups will occur every six months, then move to annually. Dr. Patel places great importance on your recovery and outcome and requests that you complete a questionnaire at months 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 24, and 36 postoperatively. You will probably experience urinary leakage after the catheter is removed, especially during any weight-bearing activity. This is normal and usually lessens with time. Kegel exercises are also an easy, highly effective way to help you overcome incontinence after a prostatectomy. It is a simple exercise that can be performed anytime, anywhere. Kegel exercises strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which support the urethra, bladder, and rectum, and help control the flow of urine. Do not attempt Kegel exercises with the catheter in place. To perform Kegel exercises, simply tighten the same muscles that you use to start and stop your urine flow. Keep those muscles tight for two to three seconds and then release. This counts as one repetition. Perform 10 repetitions to complete one session. Perform five sessions, 50 total Kegels a day, for one week, beginning seven days after catheter removal. After that, increase weekly at your comfort level to a maximum of 80 Kegels daily. Remember to breathe slowly and deeply while keeping your legs together. It may be easy to locate the muscles while urinating, but do not perform these while urinating. Establish a routine time to do the exercises, like when you are in the car and stop at a red light, during commercial breaks on TV, and when you are in the line at a store. It may be difficult to maintain the muscle contraction at first, but it will get easier as muscle strength improves. Consistency is key, but do not overdo it. More is not necessarily better. You will first notice that your urine control is better at night when you are lying down. Then early mornings will offer more control. Late in the day and early evenings are generally the last parts of the day you'll achieve better urinary control. This is mainly due to muscle fatigue that naturally occurs as the day goes on. We expect the majority of our patients will be pad-free 6 to 12 weeks post-surgery. However, there are other factors that may lengthen the recovery time, and Dr. Patel or his providers will discuss this with you at your office visit. You may experience some burning when you urinate after catheter removal, and your urine may be tinged with blood for the first week, which is completely normal and will subside. Increased fluids are recommended after the catheter has been removed. Call the office if you experience continued and or worsening burning with urination, inability to urinate, abdominal pelvic pain, fevers, chills, or continued blood in the urine. After your catheter is removed, we will discuss the penile rehabilitation regimen designed to help you regain your potency. We will help you decide which medications will work best for you and explain how to use the vacuum erection device. These medications, along with the VED, will help begin the healing process by increasing blood flow to the pelvic area. Review these preoperative instructions until you feel comfortable. If you still have questions, do not hesitate to contact our office. Thank you.